Hey, Creality sent me their 3D scanner, the CR Scan Otter. Let's test it out. For my first test, I'll sculpt a little blob and then scan it. I'm using firm modeling clay to sculpt because it helps hold in the details. I tried to add a lot of wrinkles and skin detail to see if the scanner would be able to pick it up on such a small model. And there you go, the final clay blob. The scanner comes in a nice carrying case with all of the required cables. It even had a USB to USB-C adapter. It was very simple to figure out the software even the first time I used it. Here is a 3D render of the final scan. I even accidentally dented the sculpture before I scanned it, and here you can see that dent in the final scan. So after I sculpted the clay blob, I scanned it. Once I scanned the clay blob, I figured that I would try to 3D print it. So first I did a uh, resin 3D print which I made smaller, and you can see it has a lot of detail from the scan. And it turned out quite well. And then I figured, might as well see what would happen if I do an uh, FDM type 3D print. And I made it much bigger, and here you go. What I like is that it still has a lot of detail from the original sculpture. Um, the scan captured so much. I think what's really cool about using this uh, Creality scanner is that you could sculpt something and then decide that you want it to be a different size and you could uh, print it and then once it's, pr it's printed you could always add more clay and add more detail if you wanted to. Um, but even the resin print has even more detail than this uh, FDM printer does. So uh, it's pretty Pretty amazing. And all of these 3D prints are from the raw scan. I didn't clean up the model other than to just cut off the bottom so it'll print correctly. But since I'm testing stuff, I'm gonna scan a couple more things and show you what they look like. This is a fake cake blob that I made with foam and lightweight spackling. I thought it would be nice to test the scanner on a bigger item. This is what the raw data capture looks like in the Creality scanning app. I was able to make the scan in less than 10 minutes and was quite impressed with the results. Then sticking with a cake theme, I figured I would scan a real cupcake. I found that to get the best color in the final scan, it's ideal to scan in diffused bright light. I also used a tiny electric turntable to rotate the object so that I wouldn't have to cast shadows on it by moving to the other side. Once I completed the scan, I was able to simply use the app to convert the raw data to a point cloud and then convert that to the final textured mesh that I could either 3D print or bring into a 3D software. This is the 3D model produced by the scanner app. And here is the model rendered in Blender with no edits. And just out of curiosity, I scanned a banana as well. I used the turntable method again so I could get a really high quality texture map to be able to make 3D animations with. I also wanted to show how you can edit your scan data directly in the app to get rid of any stands or base that might inadvertently get scanned. The Scan Otter has up to a 0.02 millimeter accuracy and a large scanning range. It can scan objects ranging from 10 millimeters to 2000 millimeters and has a quick scanning speed of up to 20 frames per second. It can also scan black or metal objects without spraying. And here is the banana scan rendered in Blender. So here's a few more of the 3D models that I've scanned. Um, the quality is quite amazing. I haven't touched these up. These are just how they come out of the scan. Um, and I'm very impressed. The Creality Otter uh, does a really good job with different sized items and uh, the tracking is really on point. When I've tried to do 3D scanning in the past, some of the devices will lose tracking, but this one uh, stays really well to the object and you don't get like double scans, um, which I've had trouble with in the past. And I wanted to show some of what can be done with the scanned models if you want to use them for 3D animations. 
Here I duplicated the cupcake model in Blender and then set them up as rigid body objects for a simulation of them all falling. Another cool idea is that you can scan a real object and then change the material when you are rendering. Here I went from the actual cake to make it look like it was made out of glass. I took the model of the clay blob and plopped it into an outdoor scene with particle grass. I added a mossy rock shader material to the object and it went from looking like a tiny blob to a massive stone sculpture. There are so many possibilities of what you can do with the scans that you can make. I love the idea of being able to make something with my hands, but digitizing it to have more options. And finally, I took the banana model and duplicated the bananas offset by a few degrees to make a trippy animation. As I spin around the scene, you can see how they are all laid out. Thank you to Crowley for sending me the scanner and uh, go out and make something weird. <laughs>